What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Corset Cube Draft, courtesy of, well, me, and Manatraders.com. You can check them out below, and uh, CoolStuffInc.com, and that's uh, the thing right there. Uh, I had backgrounded this, and was watching another video and forgot about it, then for some reason I thought someone was behind me. Hello, Brett. Uh, I don't know what to take here. I like Sphinx of Athune. I like Wrath of God. What if I take Wrath and then the Sphinx tables? Hmm. Fascinating. Fascinating. I'll take Wrath of God. I think Wrath is just really good. You know, I don't think Wrath... Oh, Time Warp. That's a... That's a beaut. I kind of want to be blue-white anyway, so... You know, Time Warp is a thing we can take. And then we can just take all the Planeswalkers we see. Seems reasonable. Do do. Josh, I think I saw your email. What are these? Protein bars? I don't even know what this is, but I'm sure we can consume them on stream if we all get on here. The protein bars, the protein is crickets. Oh, boy. You know, I'm not sure if I'm going to eat that, actually. <laughs> oh, wow. I may not, but Mike and Katie might. Maybe we don't tell them it's crickets. This pack is kind of meh. Hanger Mac could be fine. We already have Wrath. Oh my god, Josh, that's ridiculous, dude. Could take Basri as well. I'm gonna take Hanger back. Oh, Resplendent and Sun Titan? Okay, okay. Hmm. Thank you! Oh, for a little boop and a peep. Oh, man. King here, thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. Half a year. Where does the time go? I want to take Sun Titan. I think it's probably just stronger in this format. God, we're passing Nickel Bolas again? I do like Leon and War Leader. Maybe we're not Wrath of Godding. Maybe we're just... playing efficient things. Sun Titan plus Hangerback is a combo. You're right. Aether Adept seems fine, especially we can get it back with Sun Titan. Um, we can also take Pacifism, which is also fine with Sun Titan if the guys die. Domovia, thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. <sighs> Might be Aether Adept. Might be Pacifism. I hope the Glacial Fortress comes back. That would be wonderful. I'm a big fan of Aether Adept because of Sun Titan. The pacifism is just real good. actually a tough pick. I'm gonna go with the Adept. I think just having creatures that you can get back with Sun Titan is very, very good. Oh, Devouring Light seems fine. Thank you! Gamma Set, thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. My dude. Yeah, Devouring Light's good. Thank you! 
Spirit Mantle. Do I care about you? Not really. Tiger Nate, thank you for the resub. You guys are awesome. <clears throat> really appreciate the support, my guys. I'll just take Revoker. Oh, look, we got a Scuttling Doom Engine that came back. We could also take Wingmare now. I'll take Wingmare. Sammy, what'd you say? <laughs> Swag Tusk. Bunch of Kirbys. Two dogs. Two, two surprise Pikachus. Oh, the, the Empyrean, Empyrean Eagle came back? That's interesting. I think I like a Tendonite a little better. We don't have any Flyers right now except for Ring, Rinmare. A Tendonite also good with Sun Titan comes back. There's two Lena Warriors in the cube pool? Oh, Basri came back? Alright. Well, it looks like we did not get Glacial Fortress, which is unfortunate. Knight of the White Orchid is banging, though. Do we have, like, two non-creatures right now? So, Vryn Wingmare is pretty good. <sighs> and Rune Halo. Sammy, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, my God. Mana Gorger. Warp World is interesting. I wonder it's got like I wonder if there's an actual Warp World deck in this cube or if it's just like here for because it's in a core set, you know. I like Tezzeret. Even if you don't have artifacts, I still think Tezzeret's really good. Making a 1-1 every turn uh plus drawing a card seems fine. Looter's fine. I think I'm just taking the Planeswalker, especially with Time Warp. I just think Planeswalkers are real strong in this cube. Because as we said, there's just not a ton of answers to them. Hear those geese? Hmm. God, Counterspell is just so good. Yep. Alright. Well, this is an absolute shit show. Okay, well... For some reason, it's not recording. We just first picked Nexus of Fate. So I'm just going to download it from the web if that works. But, um... Okay. Apparently, we're back. So that's... That's good for something. But it's not letting me record. <laughs> so that's cool. Just great. Just great. But, um... Yeah, we ended up taking a Ponder. The Ponder came back. We took a uh, Whirler Rogue. First picked a Nexus of Fate there. Peace of mind. Don't want that. And, uh, I think we're looking okay. We'll probably take Memory Lapse here. It's probably better than Spectral Sailor. I don't think we're a star field of Nyx deck. Memory Lapse is actually really good. It's like the Remand before Remand. Topin Freeblade is actually a pretty solid beater. I also like Chasm Skulker. I think Chas Chasm Skulker might actually be better. Um, Grand Abolisher. Other creatures you control with flying... Man, we could have had... There's definitely a flying deck in this cube, for sure. I don't think I realized it previously, but this guy, the Imperial Bird. This guy's good. Yeah, I don't think we need Rupture Spire. This guy shuts off, like, counter spells and everything. That seems fine. I do like a Sift. I mean, as we know, I like Reign of Revelation better, but... You know, what can you do? Yep, still won't, still won't let me record. 
which is weird, but what can you do? Alright, I'll just take Sift. <sighs> Cloud Concierge seems fine. Heliod's Pilgrim doesn't seem where we want to be. Containment Priest is kind of meh. I'll just take Cloud Concierge, another good Sun Titan target. Telling time. Okay. Definitely gonna need to make some cuts here. And we're clearly just blue white. I don't think Exemplar is paying off just yet. Oh my god! Oh my god, you're right, there are two Leon and War Leaders. Why? I think I'd rather have a second Leon and War Leader than a Hanged Executioner, to be honest. Wow, that's really weird. That's really strange. I also don't think we're a Wingmare deck anymore. Alright, I'm going to take Hanged Executioner because it is removal. And it goes well with Sun Titan again, so I think there's just benefits to that. Go Speed Racer, go Speed Racer, go Speed Racer, go. Man, OBS is really giving me a headache here. So the error I received when trying to record was... NVENC error, too many concurrent sessions. Try closing other recording software, which might be using NVENC, such as NVIDIA Shadow Player, Windows 10 Game DVR. I'm not using any of those things. It literally might just see uh, OBS as... OBS was having a hard time closing. Oh, Tranquil Cove is a great pickup here. Um, so it actually might just see OBS as still recording, which is not ideal, but not a permanent issue either, so... Oh, what up, Fritzy? How's the sandwich mind, my dude? Open the vaults, and you're to blame. You give the vaults a bad name. We do have negate and essence scatter. Um, let's take unsubstantiate. I'll take Knight, take Grove, take Mortivor. All right, done. <sighs> you give a two cuts, huh? cuts really like having picked up next to the fade next to fade is just really good especially because there's so many mill decks and like having next to fade in your deck when they try to mill you is just kind of funny god I like all these cards what do I do I think we can take out grand abolisher until we actually see that we could use it it's a double white is also a little, tr a little troublesome um could take out Telling Time, it doesn't really interact with Chasm Skulker. And we also have Sift and Ponder. Cloud can see her for a card. <gasps> I think this looks good. 10-6. Wow, we ended up being way more blue? Wow. Well, we're definitely not doing 10-6. We're probably doing 7-9. Now, we do have Knight of the White Orchid, so we're just going to go 8-8. Eight, eight. I think 8-8 eight, eight is fine. We only, we only have one double blue on two. And we should be fine getting double blue after that point, so... First hand trips white. Yeah, you just added too many whites, stupid. Way to go, dummy.
Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Turn two anger back, turn three either adept if we need it. We're gonna go white though, just in case we draw a knight of the white orchid. Okay, well, we're just going to hold on to either adept here. Should have actually played knight, or, uh, planes here, because if we draw a knight, we want to play it before we play a land. But, that's fine. Just going to put a counter on this now. If they resolve this, they could actually kill this guy after they get their two mana. Well, I'm going to shuffle that. Oh, seems okay. We're just going to keep mana up for World of or for uh, Hangerback Walker again here. Okay. You got it. Oh, root bound craggles. Well, now we're probably just going to attack. You girl. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, he's having a moment over there. Man, having to to determine what mana my freaking planes and islands make is not ideal. I think we're just gonna plus here. If we play Whirl of Rogue next turn, we can draw two, which is just fine. Hello. I'm going to boop the thing downstairs. You're going to boop the thing? Yeah. Oh, the little washer? Yeah. Sounds good. Hello, my dear. Oh, good. Ah. They have an agent of treachery. Hello, stream team. Fantastic. Look at all their fancy lands. Yep. Cool. Michael want to know if he can come up here. I don't know. It's really frustrating. I just feel like we lost the game. Like, we get to play Planeswalker, and then they just go, oh, we'll just take your Planeswalker, and you can't get it back with anything. So that's super cool. Um, yep. Oh, look, and they made a Thopter, so we can't even attack it. That's super awesome. <laughs> In your <laughs> Urborg Verdant Haven. Yep. If only we could bounce Agent of Treachery. I guess we could bounce their flyer. How good is that? Not very good at all. Just really, that's really fucking discouraging. Guys, if you're ever in question whether you should play your Planeswalker or just play a mediocre creature, just always play the mediocre creature because, you know, Planeswalker is just going to backfire on you. Thank you! Yep, cool. Seems good. Dr. Funkburger MD, welcome back, my dude. Really appreciate it.
Mm, kill my 1-1. One, one. Sounds good. Man. Thanks. Planeswalker seems pretty nice. Dillon Mace, man. Feels It definitely feels longer than six months. Feels like a lifetime. I actually don't even know what we have here that, that can get us out of this. Like, I just... Again, our deck is not built to deal with multiple Planeswalkers, especially when one of them is ours. Cool. Nightpack Ambusher, which has Flash. <laughs> Cast at instant speed. Or, uh, sorcery speed. Sounds good. I'll draw another land, though. Fucking amazing. Nine lands, five spells. Sweet. Okay. Let's bring in Negate, because you have a Planeswalker. I mean, I wish there was a way to counter, uh... Unsubstantiate actually seems fine, I guess. That's a good point. Um, hmm. Probably take out Adept. Oh, uh, actually, no. Unsubstantiate does not let us get back what we steal, unfortunately. It only hits creatures if they're on the board. Yeah, I mean, if they take a creature, we can get it back. But we can also do that with, like, you know, either Adept. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is probably fine. Hand seems fine, all things considered. Got three mana, huh? Well... <whistles> play a ten tonight and ponder, which is fine. We can just play hanger back for, for two. Hanger back just gets better, though. Actually, let's just ponder first. Actually, like all of these. Um, what are we getting now? Let's get memory lapse now, actually. Well, because next time we're going to play Knight, so we're not going to probably draw the island. So I'm going to go one, two, three. No shuffs. Oh, that's not how I meant to set it up at all. 
Well, well, well. That is unfortunate. Katie, my dear. I don't want to. I, don't, I really don't want to shuffle my Sun Titan away. Unfortunately, one, two, three, four. So I think we're just gonna play Hanged Executioner. Keep up memory lapse. Unfortunately, if Hanged, Execu Hanged Executioner is activated, it does go to the graveyard. game with this guy. Three, four, five, so we can go white, white, knight. You got it. You're going to take my land. All right. Kind of weird, but okay. I'm just going to get rid of this guy. I don't really want, like, shenanigans to happen with this stupid idiot. One more creature at a counter, make a 2 2 knight. You got it. Just put it on you. Maximize our threats. Oh man, they're playing Field of Ruin, Agent of Treachery, and Corset Cube. Amazing. I don't know what's happening right now, but I'm sure it's something unfortunate. Scape Shift. Sure. <laughs> oh god. It's this cube is really weird because there's stuff like this where people that people do, and it's like it's completely unmanageable. Like, I can't do anything to deal with Scape Shift right here. Like, they're going to make, like, seven two twos, And short of me, like, being able to survive for five turns and attack with a Spirit, like, it's just going to be rough, so. Yep, cool. Look, exactly. Six, six dudes. Wait, no, is it seven? Yep, seven, just like I said. Cool. Exactly. 
Yeah, and so like I, like every other deck who doesn't who isn't able to do this like just has a extra <laughs> fucking devouring light can't draw can't draw a, a fifth land here on turn seven. So, yep. We can attack with two, but I mean I think they're just much better on defense right now. And we just hope their two cards in hand don't, uh... Cause an upset here. Uh... How are we gonna kill four blockers? I mean, they just double block here and double block here, and then we lose our two twos. They get infinite two twos. So our guys are at a higher value than theirs are right now. And then they're just gonna double block this guy. So literally, we lose all of our guys and we kill three. Yeah, Fertile Ground is fine. Okay, last card in your hand. Jace's Ingenuity. Draw three. I mean, Wing Shard is also a Storm card, so unless they play three spells before we, do, before we Wing Shards, like, we're still not going to kill four guys. Oh, unless you mean like they double block here, double block here, we get to take... But they'd still just kill... They'd sacrifice... They only sacrifice one creature, so I don't know. It's actually not terrible here. I mean, the thing is they're going to four here, and if we attack with the hangar backwalker... One, two... Oh, we could have actually won this turn, right? Like, we played Whirler Rogue, tap Hanger back, Sky Diamond, give and destruct, give unblockable. Yeah, we actually could have just won here. One thing, one of my weaknesses, and, and I'll be the first to admit it, is that, like, when I get frustrated, I, um, more frequently miss lines because I'm just so stuck in this mindset of, like, we've already lost. It's, this is, like, their, their deck is way better than ours. And, um,. Sometimes it's hard to come out of that. So if we lose here, it's our own fault. If they if they just literally drew like a an earthquake, well, I guess that would kill them too. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Wow, earthquake and sift were two of the cards you drew. That is impressive. I mean, they're playing Nexus of Fate, Field of Field of Dead, and Agent of Treachery. Three cards that were banned in Standard, so... Not necessarily, uh... Surprised their deck is doing well, but they have four cards, and hopefully they don't keep hitting ne Nexus of Fate, I guess. Land. Sounds good. Wow, if we just literally gave them an extra turn because we didn't, uh... We didn't Whirl a Rogue, I'm gonna feel real stupid. He uses blue Thopter tokens and puts Thopter as colorless. I don't know. that. Uh, that's... That's something. Did you really hit it again? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Genesis for 9. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Let me guess. Nexus of Fate? Look at the rest of their deck. Garrick, Apex Predator, Nissa World Waker, Vivian Reed, Mind Spring. They're going to put Garrick, Apex Predator on the board. Fascinating. Okay, so we're going to get another turn. Destroy a creature, gain life equal to its toughness. So you're going to gain like four. They're never going to mill themselves because they have Nexus of Fate in their deck. Destroying this. So they go up to five, and we have four flying. Hmm. 
So things on board. You don't have reach. Do, 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 do. I mean, we're literally just hoping they don't top deck next to Fate again, I guess. Like, we know these are nine of the cards in their ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are eight of the cards. A lot of them we don't care about. Vivian Reed, Nyssa. We care about Nexus and Mindspring, basically. This is rare. One mana and then four mana exile this and target creature. Man, Brutal Effigy was funny back in the day. The thing is they can't Mind Spring and... Um, Acidic Slime, sure. Wow. The one time we get six mana, we're like, they're like, no, get rid of your... Get rid of your Thopter. Oh, wow. Well, we, we almost threw that game away, but... I am grateful we did not. <whistles> Wish I had more actual counter spells. That would be great. War Priest of Thune actually could be fine. They have a lot of like. I don't think Wrath is great. Like the thing is, like if they have a bunch of, if they have Field of the Dead and they're trying to make a bunch of dudes. If we Wrath, we're probably in worse shape than they are because we can't just remake dudes. Michael and I are hanging out in the basement. <laughs> oh, man. Nerds. I kind of don't like Devouring Light. It has not seemed great. I do kind of like Vryn Wingmare, actually. I wish Zombie Token was a uh, <laughs> Zombie Token was a card. It's not. I mean, Phyrexian Roker could be good. They have a bunch of artifacts. Or a bunch of Planeswalkers. Rather. They have Vivian Reed, Nissa World Waker, and uh, Garrick Apex Predator, at the very least. Kind of like either adept in here. It bounces like our own creature if they do kill our creature, and like most of the time they're gonna take a creature because we have Tezzeret. I'm just gonna smell like this. Hmm, fascinating. I'm gonna keep it because this actually seems good if we can hit a blue, and I don't think that's too far out of the question. And we still have our hanger back walker, so. Yeah, I mean, their ramp is really good. I'm like, oh, here's the hanger back walker. I feel like ramp, if you, I feel like this format you really want to be ramping. Green, green feels really strong. Fucking amazing. Golos, Scape Shift, Field of the Dead, uh, Nexus of Fate, and Agent of Treachery in their deck. That's fucking incredible. That's actually amazing. Like, I'm playing against a constructed deck, so I actually have no idea why I'm even, why I'm even bothering. Ah. <sighs> 
Let me guess, Agent of Treachery. Oh, Garrick Apex Predator. The, the turn four Garrick Apex Predator in, uh, in Corset Cube. Seems good. Yeah, seems good. Meanwhile, I'm lucky if I can hit a fourth land here. It doesn't matter, they just Garrick can kill my guy anyway. Yep, cool. I'm just absolutely fucking done with this match. Like, this is not even fun. <laughs> like, why bother? Uh... They're literally playing a deck of banned standard cards from the past year, and, uh... I'm sitting here trying to find a third land. So, and of course I don't, but, you know. What can you do? You know what? Sure. This Hangerback Walker is the best two-drop in my deck. <laughs> oh, good times. Oh, you need four. You need a fourth land. How about a four-drop? Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly the situation. Almost every, and the, the problem here's my problem. My problem with putting cards like Golos and uh, Nexus of Fate. Nexus of Fate has been bonkers for us every time we've drafted it. Um, and you know, Field of the Dead. The problem with putting these cards in the in the core set cube is that like they were banned in standard, and you don't have enough answers for them in in the cube. Like same thing with Planeswalkers. Like you just don't have enough answers for these cards. I mean, even Bribery, which is like a top tier card in Vintage Cube, the reason it's top tier in that cube is because it gets like all the broken stuff. If your opponent's playing Channel, if your opponent's playing Tinker, you're going to find a sweet card. And Bribery is so good in the Vintage Cube that like Luis and Gabby actually took it out of their cube. But the, the thing about it here is that like you're just going to find a mediocre creature most likely like a six drop is probably the best you're going to do and you're paying five mana to do it so it's not super oppressive but there's also like a mill strategy in the cube which isn't fun by itself but like i'm finding myself drafting nexus of fate not only because it's good but because it's a great counter for the for the mill decks they just try to mill you and you're like all right keep shuffling nexus of fate i'll take a million turns because it's the last card in my deck. Uh, sure. Guys, I have I have three cards in my hand. There's a 33% th chance they're going to hit Bribery here. Actually, we're just going to block with Spirit. I'm not going to risk it. Because my luck, I'm just, I'm just, just going to hit Bribery, so... I do have a feeling we're going to draw Sun Titan, because that would be... Uh, Solemn Simulacrum? Okay. Let's see. Are you gonna show me your deck or is this a concession? I don't know how I don't know how bad bribery is. Could be Masquerum. Eh. This is not super impressive. Imposing Sovereign, Graveyard Marshal, Paladin, Fallen Angel seems fine. Demon of Catastrophes, we can actually sack Hangerback Walker. Not terrible. Let me get a 6-6. Six, six. That's probably better than just Fallen Angel, right? Yeah, this doesn't look... This just looks like a solid black-white mid-range deck. Oh, it's as initial cost to cast it. Okay, well. I guess a 6-6 six, six was the best we could ask for here. Not terrible. Uh, we have Memory Lapse, Negate, and Essence Scatter. So it's like, it's awkward because if they cast like, Skate, <laughs> fucking Christ, <laughs> it's not a nice top deck. Uh, if they cast, um, Scape Shift, we need a Negate. If they cast Agent of Treachery, we need an Essence Scatter. Alright, this is fine. 
Ooh, time warp, huh? Fascinating. Let's go... The first card click will be the last card drawn. One, two, three. No shuffles. Play the land. I guess we can hold you back. Here comes a Gideon. Bane Slayer Angel. Hmm, boy. Wow. Well, Demon Protection from Demons. My life is a comedy of errors. Yeah. Pfft, amazing. Yep. Okie dokie. Yep. There we go. We're going to lose the Bane Slayer Angel now. <sighs> Bane Slayer was not in their deck, so they were probably holding that. They're going to three. Or, yeah, it's probably going back up to five. I can't imagine you don't attack here. Okay, they just stayed at three. That's interesting. Alright, well, I mean, we got a board here. They do have a Tragic Arrogance and a Wrath of God in their deck, but Hangerback Walker is pretty good against one of those. One, two, three, four, five. Tragic Arrogance. Remorseful Cleric, because it's definitely Tragic Arrogance. <sighs> you choose for the of permanent set player controls. Sure. <laughs> oh, Lord. Good gravy. So now we're just doing Bane Slayer versus Hangerback. Yeah, of course. The one card I, I, I talk about being afraid of them drawing is the one they draw. I, I don't know how to explain it, really. Yeah, protection from white. Sounds good. Yep. Oh, and exalted. Must be nice. Once playing EDH with my friends, one was about to win if he would have found a secret piece of his combo. I asked the table, does anyone have the answer to that? A wise player said, kick his ass. If you remove the player, there will be no combo. Everyone ignored everything but his life points. I took that lesson for life. Yeah, man, if you don't have a solution for the problem, just remove the problem. How nice. Look at that. You were able to kill my 1-1. My one, one. Wow, this is a great series of draws. Mind Shatter to get rid of my hand. Tragic Arrogance. Uh, Knight of Infamy. And uh, Soren Markov. That seems good. Unfortunately, you could not draw any of the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 lands. Uh, Star Compass. Marble Diamond. Uh, 
eliminate, which is not super exciting. Nice. Yep, so I'm sure we're just dead here. That seems great. Sure. Five, six, seven. Put our life total to ten. All right. <sighs> yep. So you can put us to one here. You got it. You're at eighteen. Wow. Way to way to recover. Look another look another 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 relevant card. Now any creature I play comes into play tapped. Yep, cool. That'll do, I'm sure. Incredible. <laughs> yep, bring in the negate again because it's bringing claustrophobia. It's really just frustrating. I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's hard to not be. I, I don't know. I'm trying not to be salty about it, but like, really, seriously, their draws are fantastic and. Remember when you cast Bribery and there weren't any impressive creatures in their deck? I do. I do remember that. I also remember I was like, oh, I'll just draw a Time Warp and then we can Time Warp, take a second turn, and then uh, we can kill them with that. And then they literally play Baneslayer in, in the turn between. <sighs> yep. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Well, I mean, this is good against Tragic Arrogance and Soren, so... Why is Rune Halo in the cube? Because it's in a corset. <laughs> and that's that. I'm probably going to skip a land drop next turn. Oh, I, I can't actually because I have to play a white for... Sure. Um, Let's play that guy instead. Yeah, that seems great. Well, they didn't see Eliminate in the last game. I think they're probably going to have it right now because they have to get rid of Chasm Skulker. So if you have to get rid of something, you got the Eliminate. Can't be the target of black or red spells. Sure. Hmm. Fascinating. I think we're just going to play Basri's Lieutenant here. Put a counter on himself. It's actually a reasonable combo. I mean, even if, even if we get even if we play this guy on five and get a land out of it, it's still fine. Like next turn we have sift and negate, so I'm just taking four here. I don't think Glorious Anthem does enough here. It doesn't do much. I mean, all our guys are naturally bigger than theirs anyway. They have Grave Marshal, which is 3-2. Sure. Like, Imposing Sovereign, 2-1. Knight of Infamy, 2-1. Fiend Slayer Paladin, 2-2. All of our guys are naturally bigger. Hmm. I feel like we just play World of Rogue, but I don't really want to get boned by... Tragic arrogance or something. I can keep up negate. Next turn we're gonna knight. So next turn we're gonna have one, two, three, four. We're gonna have six mana, four of which will be used. I feel like I can sift here. Like the only five drop I care about is tragic arrogance or wrath of god, and wrath of god leaves us with a two two, and it's pretty fine for us. I guess Gideon Jura is also a card they had. Yeah, we don't need to draw right now. We have a card in hand, so. What's up, my little son? Little Wallace Ray? How are you? My little buddy's here. Hello, little buddy.
Yeah, all right. We're just gonna counter that. I'm not discarding three cards here. So we got one, two, three, uh, four mana. I do like bribery. It's a pretty easy discard too, so. Hey man, Knight of the White Orchid value is value. Here comes old Soren Markov. Yep. Never fails there. Now they can start shooting our guys, which is fun. Yep. Seems good. Alright, what we got here? Demon. Oh, look, Baneslayer Angels in your deck. So is Tragic Erkin's Wrath of God still, so that's nice. So is Gideon Jura. Okay, so all the good stuff is still in here. I mean, you just gotta get Baneslayer, right? Like, they have very few answers for it. Sure. Don't draw a tragic error and answer Wrath of God. Oh, they drew... No, I guess Read the Bones is in their hand. No, I don't know, actually. I'm looking at the old screenshot. <sighs> Gotta love those Cyber Monday sales with the huge Soren Markovs. <laughs> yes, I, I do. This is where they go uh, land Wrath of God, right? land what is a little bud oh, I got you no wrath of no wrath of God sky diamond Wallace Ray, Wallace Ray. What are you doing? Nope. Okay. Wally, what do we do here? What's our attacks? I'm gonna put you down, okay? All right, so um, while he's never looking at the screen, that's why I always put him down. I'm like, you're clearly not interested in this game. Um, we can attack here for five. Protection from multicolored. So I think we just attack here. Five, six. Give this guy... God. Protection from white against our deck is so hilarious. I mean, if they draw a Wrath of God or Tragic Arrogance, it's very bad. But we do want to get the Soren off the board, so. Thank you. Oh, well, Katie with the resub. My God. Notice Katie has no streak. She has no. I'm going to attack your face and assume this is enough. Okay, we got rid of the Soren at the least. I'm gonna play Sky Diamond because I have no reason, no way to get rid of it, and also if they uh, 
we just there's if they there's there's no reason not to play it. <laughs> if they start playing like Hypnotic Spectre and hitting us, or if they have another discard spell, like I'll just have it on board. It's also another artifact we can tap for Whirler Rogue, so. God. Eleven lands. Ugh. Eleven lands and a diamond to eight spells. It's just... It's just... I don't understand it. Um, we're going to make you unblockable with diamond. And this guy. And then we're going to attack with you, 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 and you. You're at two, huh? Maybe we should have done the math. There's another situation where I'm like, well, if we did the math, we could have won. I don't know. Like, they would have been able to block, block. They go up to four, and then they take three. No, so we would have actually been one shy. And we would have thrown away, like, two creatures. So, yep. That seems fine. You literally have to plus this. You can't even kill Bane Slayer here. Yeah, that's fine. That seems okay. <laughs> Do Twitch Prime subs not cause notifications? Um, no, all subs cause notifications. But I think you have to. I think you have to actually force it to the to the thing. I don't know how to. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I got dead. I appreciate the sub, buddy. Thank you so much. Well, I mean, Gideon's just dead, right? Yeah, I mean, this is what we figured they do. Block both these guys, sure. They go to four... That's better. Yeah, I like that better. I want to play this guy because I think if they don't draw Tragic Arrogance or Wrath of God, then this is just a better card to have on board. But, come on guys, we know how it works. Oh, we won the game? Good gravy. Who saw that coming? I almost like unsubstantiate. Like, if they do go Tragic Urgans or Wrath of God, being able to bounce one of our guys to our hand seems pretty decent. Like I said, though, most of my issues are Sorin, Gideon, like Baneslayer. All the mythics are very, very hard to deal with. And because it's a cube, there are more of them. <laughs> the opponent didn't draw exactly with it? I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's a it's a strange time we live in. I kind of like unsubstantiate actually. It's just another good counter spell. But we can't play forty two. You can't eat cats, Kevin. You can't eat cats. Shift? No, I'm not gonna run a sift. I get rid of looter. You know what, this is keepable because of Ponder and because of 3-drop, 4-drop, sure. There's a lot of geese outside, man. I'm hearing, it's geese city out there. <laughs> I'll keep it because Ponder will surely let us find a white mana. Here's another island, stupid. Can we just keep it because Cloudkin's here? And Sift? Yeah, this is probably fine. Yeah, next turn we can go hangar back. This is all fine. Uh, Tenonite, Island, Walker. No. I 
I think Ponder being one is more relevant than Telling Time being two. But also, I mean, like, Telling Time is... I don't know. Sometimes you want three cards. I don't know. So, like, you have to put one on the bottom. I, I don't know. I, I think they're both fine, but... I think the analysis of the two is a little bit more... Okay, that's... That's a thing. Hopefully I too. Okay. <laughs> well. <sighs> Come on, white mana. Otherwise known as a planes. Are you gonna... What? What is happening? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not blocking that guy. With no guarantee of a fourth mana, I'm just not sure. Dang it, it was there all along. A Tendon Knight is actually sweet here because it lets us keep up Devouring Light. I kind of like that. And it also lets us pump Hanger back. Let's do that. Yeah, this is actually a really good position to be in. Pretty soon we can keep up Negate, which counters Sorin, Gideon, Tragic Slip... And Wrath of God. That's okay. Mm okay. It's only your creature from your graveyard, sure. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. Sure. I mean, I traded an Attendant and a Cloud Conceer, both of which gave me extra value for a Fiend Slayer Paladin and have not Spectre. Are you going to eliminate this in response? Sure. <laughs> that does not seem ideal. They have one card in hand. I think we're just playing Tezzeret. So next time we can play World of Rogue and draw a bunch of cards, we're just going to keep our blockers back. We don't really care about Tragic Arrogance here because we do get to keep Tezzeret, I believe. I believe it's Planeswalker is one of the, one of the things. So we get to keep one creature and they get to keep one creature. That's fine. Wrath of God also doesn't bother us because Tezzeret. Uh, Soren would be kind of annoying. This is interesting. I mean, if you want to eliminate one of my tokens in order to keep your Corpse Knight alive, that's fine because it's the last card in your hand. Oh, you're just going to exile your guy to get the value. Sure, that's fine. This is uh, this is all fine. Being able to keep him negate here is very, very good. We have Devouring Light for... Oh. Fascinating. Hmm. That's what we're hoping for. Wow, now we have Essence Scatter and Negate in hand. That's real strong. Alright, now we're doing it. Who cares? What up? Welcome back, my dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Baby, you okay? Yeah. Are you dying? I just... I just the laundry bin. Oh, yours? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad you're taking care of it. Yeah, this is a big no. <laughs> wow. I think they had concede up and if we negated they can they they conceded and that's that's what they did. All right, let's play our final round. But I am going somewhere, but I'll also be back. Oh man. What an emotional roller coaster.
Okay. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. Essence Scatter into Adept into Simulacrum into Tezzeret. You too. Mulligan. Oh, it's your boy, Nexus of Fate. It's your boy! <laughs> okay. They didn't do anything? Well, that's unfortunate. None of my things are good when you don't do anything. Oh man, look at all our time walks. Turn 5, turn 6, turn 7. Fascinating. Okay, you can have Nexus, Essence, and Adept. Nexus gets shuffled in, so it's never gone for good. It's also seven mana. They took Essence, Scatter. Come on, give me a land for that Solemn Simulacrum. I don't ask for much. Oh, we didn't ask for much and we got rewarded. Is this from right now? This clip? Well, now we're probably just gonna attack. You girl. <laughs> Can you hear Katie in that clip? I don't even know. How did you know that? Oh my god. <laughs> my god. What a celebrity. Oh, Vampire Nocturnus. Fascinating. As long as the top card is black, this dude gets plus two, plus one. Why doesn't it just say vampire creatures you control? Why does it say vampire creatures and other vampire creatures? Just say vampire. He's a vampire, so it counts. I, I don't understand that. Maybe I, maybe I did at one point. But currently, I don't. Did she just laugh at that? She thinks that's funny. So we're going to draw a swamp. That's good to know. We're going to bounce this dude. And then we're going to play a looty tooty. I'm trying to engineer a situation where I can get this Teferi down safely. Oh, what up, Nick? Welcome back, buddy. Nocturnus again. Another swamp on top. Okay. Sounds good. That's where they disfigure. Are they gonna disfigure? Wow, they literally disfigured. That's, that's dirty. So even if they guys have five, Tezzer goes up to six if we plus. And we get to keep a blocker, so that's actually pretty good. Or they have to deal with a blocker, rather. So... But being able to go time warp into next of fate seems pretty good. So we know they have at least one swamp in hand. They just played it, so I'm gonna assume they have no swamps in hand. This is a five mana two two that makes a five five, and then you lose two life at the beginning of your upkeep. So you're just paying the you're paying the blood right every every turn. Sorry. <laughs> you doing okay? She's breaking the house. Yeah. It's it's not ideal, but it's a living. It's what we've got, okay? It is, it's what we've got. She's right. Yep, just gonna block here. This 
Seems good. Let's play War Leader here. But then we gotta draw these other two lands? Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. God, they had to have Corrupt. That's so funny. Exactly six, yeah. That's beautiful. Um, any order and shuffle. Oh, that's much better. Spoiler, it was not better. Mm. Maybe we can just chain counters, chain, chain turns together. Oh, well, not anymore, I guess. So they know our last card is Nexus of Fate. Mm. Demon of Catastrophes. The old salami simulacrum. Yeah, that's a that's a delicious subway option. Maybe they'll play demon and sacrifice their vampire nocturne. This is actually great because they can sacrifice the priest of blood rights to it, and then they no longer take two damage. is okay. One, two, three, four. It's gonna be three spells. Oh yeah, three spells. Seems good. Yep. Knew we were gonna get punished for not keeping one of these in hand. But, what can you do? Three, four, six, seven, eight. If we draw a land, we could actually activate this and bribery in the same turn, which could be good. So we do take ten here if they attack with their flyers. That's not great. Oh, mine shatter off the top. Well... It's four mana in exile. And they are going to do it. So we're just going to chump block here. So you know we they have demon in hand, and that's one of their. I assume they're just gonna play that dude now. Yep. All right. So now we they have two unknowns in hand, and they were gonna draw mine. Ooh, that's not bad at all. Let's see if mine shatter remains on top. A la, courser of crucifix bug. Okay, what do we got here? Massacre Worm. <laughs> Doesn't really do much here, but I still think it's probably the best card that we can get, unfortunately. Hmm, yeah, 
None of these are great. They also have Languish, which would kill our board. Grasp of Darkness, Eliminate. None of those hit Massacre Room. It's just got to be Massacre Room. Like... All right, they're drawing a Swamperino. That's okay. If we attack with all three, eh, we can attack with both of these. They obviously eat this, they take two. That doesn't seem great. Oh good, they got the card they needed. So they drew a Swamp. So we know they have Swamp and one other random card. Actually, if they attack with everything and they put us to one with no follow-up, we might be able to win here. If their hand is like land land, it'd be sick. Nope, we're just going to one. Because Nexus of Fate actually might save us here. Um, wow. Cool. It had to it's fucking stab wound. That's amazing. It's actually incredible. <laughs> oh, God. Absolutely just incredible. Nexus first is a redraw. Hello. Yo. Can I draw? Uh no, I'm in my like last game. Oh, okay. Well, no, because I'd rather bribery get a big creature of theirs and then set up a good next to fate turn. If I'm just using next to fate as a literal like draw one, like it's just not good at all. That's not what I want to do with my seven mana time walks. Like we have no pressure on the board. We're not trying. Like bribery, like literally, can put us in a position to like block or, or, or stalemate the board. Whereas right now they're just staring us down with five fives. Like we don't have anything we can draw that's really that much better than like having devouring light in hand as well. So. Bring claustrophobia. Just take out Luder again. Luder actually dies to pretty much everything and doesn't necessarily net us anything. This is pretty rough. I don't think three five drops and a seven drop is really going to get us there. This is better. I think I'll sooner ship Whirl or Rogue than Bribery here. Stab wound. Literally probably the only fucking black card in the cube that can deal deal us a damage on our turn. I would uh I would challenge you guys to find a different card that they could have had in their hand. Well, they went to five. Cyan blood, sure. Wow, three of you sign in blood. Yeah, okay, they could have signed in blood, man, I guess. Choose a creature. Nice. Mull to five. Ostracize me, no creature in hand. Seems seems good. More like a mold of four. Like it. 
Does Gutshot count? No, Gutshot was not in a core set. So, that could not be in the cube. <laughs> Any more than, like, Fire Blast, I guess. Ugh, God. You know what? Sure. Having a Sack Outlet on board is pretty good. You got the Demon. Oh, man, did we miss a land drop? Bummer. Bummer. I'm going to discard planes here. We're just going to get it back anyway. What is this? Mine shutter? No, dude, get out of here. Give me a land. It's like a bribery. Preach. Interesting. Deck is good. So apparently they have Vampire Nocturnus in hand. I'm just going to take 6-6. Six, six. And they can't Doomblade this guy. Yep, that's the guy we thought they had in hand. They'll be drawing a Swamp. As I live and breathe. Oh my god, Dan's and Elk Tears at the same time? Is someone cooking? I don't know. They're messing with pots and pans in the background. So they're drawing Swamp, which is fine. And they got Liliana on top. I am worried. Wally Yulim is cooking. I think Wally Yulim's in here, actually. Both of these guys, huh? All right, I'll take six. So you have one card in your hand that we don't know about. Thank you. This is a closed set. Didn't she see the light? Oh my God, Matthew. Dan's gifting a sub to Matthew. I remember when Matthew was was supporting on his own. Now he needs a sugar mama to, to get him every month. Oh, we just won the game. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Interesting. It's a massacre room, right? Yeah, probably. Mighty Exemplar on Glorious Anthem, Vern Wingmare. Wrath could actually be decent here. They got a lot of big boys. We could bring in Wrath and take out like a Tended Knight. I think that's actually better. Uh, Katie's not made anything for dinner. She is putting things away. Tender night? <laughs> yeah, take that tender night out. Take it. How you guys have a tender? Why don't you guys have a tender night out? Katie is starting a noise band in the kitchen. It's real avant garde. Sand is not. No. Okay, we'll keep the three mana version of this hand. Ooh. I like Hanger back into Chasm Skulker. Okay, this, is, this could work. 
what is your take on potatoes? I was telling Alex here they're underrated. Underrated? Really? I think potatoes are one of the most, uh, one of the most delicious of the, I think, I think potatoes are rated fairly. I think everyone loves potatoes, right? There's so many different varieties. Methods of cooking them. I feel like potatoes are, are, I mean, look at Lord of the Rings, right? You boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. Um, yeah, I don't know if they're the healthiest. They're mostly carbs, right? Oh, I gotta... If you want to eliminate hanger bag, give me a 1-1. One, one. That's fine. Land. Planes. Thing. Um, I'm just gonna play Chasm Skull. Eh, well, let's attack first, right? Circumcised or uncircumcised potatoes? That's the question you gotta ask yourself, really. Do you think they have Doomblade too, guys? What do you think? Let's find out. They do have Mutilate and Languish, which is not ideal. Well, they didn't Doomblade in a turn. They could just Mutilate here. Which is basically a one-for-one, one, right? They eliminated one-for-one. One. Doomblade gets rid of Chasm Skulker, or uh, Mutilate gets rid of Chasm Skulker, so... They're a good source of vitamin C and B6, manganese, phosphorus, niacin, and uh, pantothenic acid. Everybody knows that. We want to hit lands here. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so we don't want knight, really, but that's fine. Knight will be the last one drawn, followed by either adept. Put this on top. No shuffs. Play the land. Play the seer. Draw that thing. Do they just attack here? I don't think so. So the problem with attacking here is that if they do have mutilated language, they just get this off the board and they get to wipe the board, and that's pretty good for them. This figure demon. Okay. Well, we know that we're drawing knight next turn. Thank you. Oh, we can also just solemn simulacrum and get another white source. That's pretty good. To Exodus, thank you for the 24 months, man. Really appreciate you. Dan's, I feel like you're doing a paper on potatoes. Are you doing a, a college paper on potatoes? Is that your... Is that what you're doing your dissertation on? Disfigure Demon is the name of my blackened, blackened metal band. You know, I like blackened metal because of the spices. It's probably one of my favorite metals. I'm going to block here. Five damage is not worth a 1-1 one, one and... We can actually just bounce this guy next turn. Well, I don't think we're going to have to hold it for too long, right? We're going to have five mana. They have five now. So if they play a six land, we can play knight next turn. Oh, that's interesting. Now I just kind of want to bounce the demon. <laughs> uh, I, I mean... They do get to sacrifice this guy for the, the other demon that they're going to draw. Hmm. I mean, Solemn Simulacrum really puts us in shape to bribery. Unfortunately, we didn't have a land here, but we knew we weren't going to, I guess. a good card jazz is stupid just play the right notes yeah take that too then they're gonna play big demon which is hard to deal with oh but swamp on top seems good so we know you have disfigure and demon in hand and one other card Boo -doo 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 -doo. You feel like bribery's too good for this cube? I don't think so. You're getting like a mediocre, you're getting like a just a regular dude. Oh wow, this is fascinating if they don't. Oh, I'm 100% blocking here. They have Demon of Catastrophes in hand. If I block here, then they don't get to cast it without sacrificing their Nocturnus? That's weird. 
That's that was a weird play. We had another hand is Disfigure and Demon of Catastrophes in one other card. Yeah, I agree with I Got Dead. Like, it, when you're like, I'll take your Eldrazi, it's like, oh, well, that's really good. I kind of just want to keep memory lapse up because I think these are very powerful. And we know they're drawing a swamp here. Oh my god, they go to two? Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. If they want a memory lapse and, and pay the extra... Oh, another swamp. Nice. They played no swamp yet. No, no attacks either? Or no... Uh, oh, interesting. Okay, so they're probably just dead here. We know they have Demon. They're probably going to play Demon, Sacrifice this guy, and then we just kill them. Okay, one Swamp down. Yeah, this is going to be brutal. Is it Massacre Room? Yeah, this should be game. Oh yeah, that's definitely that's a definite no no. That'll do two one with the blue white deck. Not too bad, not too bad. Thank you guys for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Send those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.